Hey guys, well, today was going to be vaccinate the sheep day. Give that second CDT shot, but it's in the 20s, snowing a little. And I decided, you know what, next week they say it's supposed to get up into the 40s. So I said, we're going to give you all a break. You all get a break till next week. And next week we're going to bring you all in and vaccinate you then. So we'll hold the vaccination stuff off for a week. See if it warms up a little, makes it a little bit easier for us anyway. Uh, I did have one thing came up. Lost one of the little lambs. And as you'll see here, get around here by the building, it's all been fences taken down, everything changed. Ended up losing the little, uh, the small lamb that had the, looked like the black belly. Uh, you got me. Hey, it's sheep. It's like I've told you before, you have dead sheep, live sheep. That's all there is. And you have no idea what happens to one. They were both out here in the evening. They were both eating perfectly fine. They were healthy. They were good. And I walk out the next morning, one's dead. So as you can see, I took down all the fence quick. I wanted to get it down. The ground is starting to freeze, but it's not quite there yet. So I wanted to get the post out and the fence out. So I took the little white-faced one, and that went up to my daughter's. Uh, she has that in the barn up there. Uh, put it inside. It's going to be all by itself down here. Up there, it could be by the cats and the goats, and my granddaughter's taking care of it. So they put it up there. They're going to keep it inside up there. Got some heat lamps on it, hopefully, keep it warm enough. She said it's eating real good, uh, but it's still up there suffering from the cold, just a little up there yet, too. So that's part of what you get. But anyway. I wanted to get the fence down real quick before those steel posts froze into the ground because if I want to make some changes, that pin was set up just for them. If I'm not going to have them, I don't need the pin set that way. Uh, while I'm thinking about this, we're talking about vaccinating and all the sheep. I've had a couple comments from a couple people that they just got their first sheep or they're just getting ready to get their first sheep. And I thought, I want to talk about something that maybe will save you the same problem that we had. And when we started out this last summer, uh, my son-in-law had the idea. He wanted to do it. He bought the first rams, got started. Then we got some ewes, and I decided I wanted to get into it. And next thing I know, I got 14, 15 sheep standing down here, and I didn't have any six months ago. But basically, the way it started was a couple of rams here. We got a few ewes over there. We went to a sale over here and bought some, picked up a few over there, and we kind of put them together. And what happens when you do something like that Every little group of sheep comes with its own set of bugs, its own set of parasites, uh, whether it's worms or whatever it is. And group A has these and group B has something different and now they expose each other to them. And the next thing you know, somebody's gonna get sick or somebody's gonna be off. Um, biggest thing we saw was worms. And usually these are not too bad for worms. So your black bellies, mouflons, don't have too much of a worm problem, but when you have this group has this set of worms and this group has a different set, you put them together, you're gonna to get something. So that's why we try to take now, every time we bring them in, they get a CDT shot right off the bat, they get wormed right off the bat. Then down the line, get them that second CDT shot and then give them a second worming. So that'll solve a lot of your problems, but when you're mixing them together, you know, you're gonna have that problem. You just, you can't avoid it, it's coming up. Buying off somebody's farm versus an auction will help. Uh, some of these ewes and my son-in-law's small rams up there, he got the black bellies, they came from an auction. And the next thing you know, some of them now have pink eye. Some of our other sheep had pink eye, or it appeared to be pink eye. We had a, we had a uh, doctor for it anyway. It was with, within the eyes anyway. So you go to an auction, you're gonna bring home more stuff. The more stuff you can buy from somebody without going to an auction, the better off you're going to be. But, you know, sometimes what's available in your area, how far do you have to travel? Uh, you know, in my case, mouflons, I'm in Nebraska. There ain't a lot of mouflons in Nebraska. They are kind of tough to find. So, but that brings me back, discussing this and doing that, to the catch pen and why that was so important. All right, and the last group of sheep we brought in was my mouflons. Now, the day I brought them home, it was about noon, and I wasn't gonna have anybody around to help me until like five o'clock in the evening. So I couldn't leave them sitting on a trailer for five hours. Now I had set up this pen right here 
was going to be set up and designed just for the mouflons. So the day I got them, I backed in here, I unloaded them in here, and they spent about a week or 10 days in here. Then I slowly moved them over to the next pen, introduced them to a couple ewes over there, and then to the whole group. So I did isolate them for about a week. And that's what you want to do. You want to at least isolate for a week to give a chance to see what you brought on the place, make sure everybody's healthy. But the key was I had to turn them loose and I did not, was not able to give them a shot or to worm them because I couldn't do it by myself. And I was, in the middle of summer, I couldn't let them sit on a trailer for five hours. So I had to turn them loose. But that's because I didn't have the catch pin built. And that's where that catch pin was so important. Because if I would have had the catch pin at that time, I would have backed up and unloaded the sheep straight into the catch pin. They could have stayed there. I could have left them there for a week if I wanted to. But the big thing was I could have put them in. Then when somebody came in the evening, they could have helped me give them their vaccinations and shots. And then we could have turned them loose. So that's why if you're just starting out, just starting to get sheep or thinking, catch pin, catch pin, catch pin get a spot where you can catch them you're going to need to you're going to bring somebody home they're going to get sick you got to be able to catch them and we fought and fought sometimes trying to catch these guys before we had the catch pin and it was a rodeo and a half all right we're going to take these guys and gals got them locked in don't need them for a week uh, a lot of the reason i took down this fence where the little ones were is this pasture out here has got a fair amount of grass now it's dead it's dry it's winter but I'll tell you what, they'll go out and they'll graze it. I had them out in their pasture last week, but there's just nothing out there. So I thought, you know what, I could sure put these out here, let them go out in this pasture, especially this next week, it's supposed to be in the 40s, sunny. It'd be nice for them to get out of that dry lot, get out in the pasture. So we're gonna go ahead and set them up real quick. Let them out. So hang on just a second, let me see. I don't know if I can do this and hold on to camera at the same time or not. I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right. I guess first thing to do, get a little fuzzy here, huh? Close this gate. We don't want anybody going out the wrong way. I'm going to put the camera down a bit. All right, got that gate closed. And all I do is gonna slide that one back. All right, and there we go. One more look to make sure, one more look to make sure I got everything right. Gate is open to the pasture. That gate is closed, I can't get out there. And now, they can go back between these and we're gonna let these out to pasture and let them see where they want to go huh all right we're just gonna let them find their way out that way we don't push anybody through a fence or do any of that kind of stuff they'll find their way out eventually hey I want to mention too down in the description you'll find a link to my web page and a Facebook page the web page has got the uh, my email address if you'd like to send an email, if there's any information I can help you with or anything you want to discuss about sheep, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. For now, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you again real soon.